today we talk about the um, ethical dilemmas in the context of artificial, artificial intelligence AI, uh, which is uh, empowered by military systems. Um, examine uh, data sharing from the um, perspective of uh, moral uh, realism we talk about. Uh, I mean, uh, the support of uh, experts and companies and um, global suppliers is cru uh, crucial uh, for um, advancement of artificial uh, intelligence AI. In, the, uh, in this regard, uh, the collabora collaboration between governments and um, other actors in the development of um, military-oriented uh, art artificial intelligence in, uh, is growing day by day. Uh, however, and this uh, progress also um, brings about some uh, sorry brings about uh, some discussions. Um, this uh, study examines uh, ethical dilemmas arising from data sharing in the context of AI. Uh, artificial intelligence support military vehicles uh, with a focus on uh, moral realism uh, theory. Um, this study um, uh, investigates the um, potential security threats uh, posed by non-state actors uh, developing. Uh, a uh, artificial intelligence driven, uh, driven uh, asymmetric warfare capabilities, I mean. Um, we argue that uh, governments uh, heavily rely on the uh, private sector to develop and uh, implement the artificial intelligence strategies, uh, granting them um, uh, discretion to to choose data sharing or storage based on uh, cost-benefit uh, calculations, I mean. Uh, thereby, the impacting uh, international security uh, for um, uh, these uh, developments. Uh, the importance of balancing uh, ethical concerns with uh, the need for innovation and technological uh, advancement is uh, emphasized. I mean, uh, while um, highlighting the significance of the, um, preserving the autonomy of um, private companies, um, the, uh, the, this article uh, underscores the moral responsibility of states and the importance of uh, human-centric um, approaches in international relations, IR theories, and also. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's uh, talk about um, some countries' developments uh, about artificial intelligence. Uh, in today, many countries uh, need a serious data flow of, of uh, developed for the artificial intelligence. Uh, they use for military purposes. Uh, the main support for artificial intelligence consists of uh, experts in companies and also uh, global uh, providers. I mean, non-governmental providers. Uh, and also, recent developments show that uh, this emerging collabora collaboration between states and uh, providers can have a critical and potentially uh, dangerous impact on uh, international security. Uh, what I mean? I mean that this is because the competition among between uh, data providers has the uh, potential to create a security vulnerability, particularly for nation states, I mean. Um, is the use of artificial intelligence assisted uh, military vehicle spreads, the competitive environment for uh, uh, acquiring data access accessories and uh, there is a potential for data providers to choose among their customers. Uh, for example, uh, it's it's likely that um one uh, supplier will provide data to one government, but not to another, uh, or that will uh, share incomplete data. Uh, and also, in addition to this, um, it could be it's it's likely that provides will share a data with non-governmental actors. Um, what I mean, uh, uh, for for instance, in terrorist organizations or other uh, non-governmental uh, organizations. At this point, it's, it's possible to use moral realism as a framework, uh, framework for ethics of emerging artificial intelligence technology. Um, uh, 
So we use uh, in this study uh, moral realism. Moral realism means that uh, it, it can be provide insights uh, and solutions to the potential risk that uh, may rise from uh, data sharing in the context of artificial intelligence assisted by military uh, vehicles, I mean. Uh, you can hear uh, exactly, am I Can you hear me? Sorry? Yes, we can hear. No problem. You can yeah. go on. Okay. Uh, I, I want to be sure. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, many philosophers uh, claim that um, moral realism as a um, philosophical uh, doctrine goes back to Plato. For an uh, ancient uh, realist perspective, uh, that goes back to Plato, I mean, um, moral uh, truths are uh, clear and uh, prejudice according to this theory. Uh, moral uh, also moral propositions are uh, types of um, statements uh, that are true or false. Uh, I mean for moral realism the truth is uh, falsity and moral propositions uh, is largely uh, independent of society, cu culture or our personal uh, views uh, or opinions. Uh, for instance I mean um, killing civilians is a wrong uh, is wrong uh, for uh, no matter what others uh, think. Uh, this philosophical view, uh, however, uh, rejects the notion that um, science is a measure of all things uh, and argues that uh, moral uh, properties exist objectively. Uh, moral realists, uh, therefore, because of this, uh, ask always what are the objective uh, moral uh, properties and attempt to answer this question also. To uh, define an action as a good or bad, uh, one uh, must consider the purpose of action, the consequence of the action and um, the specific situation of the uh, action or the person who, uh, who perform, performs the action. Uh, the point is uh, to be able to make an impartial and um, equidistant um, evaluation when making moral uh, ju judgments. Uh, moral realism also takes a human-centered uh, approach and it's, uh, it's concerned uh, with uh, the value of human uh, beings. Um, uh, uh, so, uh, one can uh, divide the uh, um, application for moral realism in the field of artif artificial intelligent ethics in two categories. Uh, one is, uh, the first one is uh, universal principles. Uh, moral realism argues that uh, there are universal moral principles in artificial intelligent ethics. Uh, these principles can be considered in the development uh, and the use uh, of artificial intelligence systems. For instance, um, universal principles such as justice, um, non-harm, uh, honesty uh, can guide the ethical use of artificial intelligence systems. And the second one is uh, objectivity. Uh, what's the objectivity? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the moral realism assumes that uh, moral facts are objective and uh, exist independently. Uh, from this perspective, uh, objectively and impartial criteria can be um, established in artificial intelligent ethics. Uh, ethical decisions about artificial intelligence systems can uh, attempt to adhere um, to principles of impartial and uh, objectivity, I mean. Uh, so, um, this uh, study um, um, uh, specifically in predicts that the tendency of states uh, to rely on private sector uh, for their artificial intelligence strategies and freedom of choice of global technology companies to share or store data will lead to change in international security dynamics, I mean. Uh, I, uh, we argue that in this uh, study, uh, the 
competitive environment in sharing data on artificial intelligence driving military vehicles uh, will um, greatly affect the power dynamics between states and may lead to range of um, actions uh, such as hybrid or proxy wars. Uh, it's uh, predicted that um, artificial intelligence based uh, asymmetric and warfare capabilities of non-state actors have the potential to pose the security threat. The article argues that um, moral realism approach can provide a valuable um, framework for uh, social rationality and goodness in, in the light of the increasing use of, of artificial intelligence in military domain. Um, Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, by uh, combining the world of uh, I in industry uh, 4.0, um, technologies have uh, enabled software to achieve high efficiency uh, beyond uh, human capabilities. In the fifth industrial revolution 5.0, uh, we have in entered human machine interactions are coming to the fore. Uh, industrial revolution is uh, in the industrial revolution 5.0 is uh, an effort to reduce human intelligence to mathematics or numbers and statics. In other words, um, it's its attempt uh, to realize a dream of transhumanism. As a result of the developments uh, in uh, human technology today, there is an attempt to approach the non-human technology. Uh, this situation uh, confront us uh, with the uh, convergence of um, post-humanism, post-human uh, um, uh, death, which includes moral values. Um, combining the strengths of humans and machines uh, while eliminating the, each other's weakness will be the key in integrating artificial intelligence into the, into the um, society, our societies. Uh, also, such attempts are also uh, underway in the military domain. Uh, artificial intelligence robots and autonomous systems, especially autonomous uh, military systems, are being developed to perform better than soldiers and battlefield also. Uh, however, um, in this emerging revolution, ethical issues lag beha behind uh, developments. Uh, uh, I mean this for ethical uh, developments. With the uh, wide speed of um, use of military vehicles supported by uh, artificial intelligence, it's uh, foreseeable that moral issues uh, arise arising from data sharing will uh, increase and uh, become even more complex. It should not be uh, overlooked that um, artificial intelligence based asymmetric um, warfare capabilities uh, of non-state actors may cause um, security problems if not used in accordance to according uh, accordance uh, with uh, ethical principles. Uh, um, also, it's believed that uh, the artificial intelligence based uh, weapon um, systems that uh, such um, actors can um, acquire can uh, shake um, traditional security structures and create a new uh, imbalance with uh, international security uh, system. At this point, um, international uh, cooperation with uh, states and non-state actors in the field of especially artificial intelligence uh, will become more in important day by day. Uh, according to moral realism theory, which emphasizes the importance of uh, cooperation for um, universal ethical values. States have also moral responsibility in international relations. Uh, while protecting uh, the uh, welfare of uh, their societies, uh, also um, from the perspective of moral uh, realism, uh, data uh, sharing should be uh, fair and uh, transparent to ensure proper and ethical uh, use of artificial intelligence technologies must be managed uh, in today. Uh, otherwise, 
uh, otherwise, sorry, uh, not uh, only um, military personnel, uh, um, personnel uh, but also civilians uh, uh, will be at risk. Uh, and the uh, consequence of uh, military operations will cause a number of potential problems uh, in the uh, fields of international relations and also international security areas. Uh, what I mean, I mean, for instance, a, a crisis may arise because it's not clear who morally responsible for the mistakes made in the uh, operations of military vehicle supported by artificial intelligence that um, acts with uh, incomplete or incorrect data. Uh, similarly, in the application of uh, artificial intelligence technology in the symmetric warfare will uh, lead to the use of artificial intelligence as a tool of uh, uh, hybrid warfare. Um, also, however, uh, sorry, uh, it's necessary to balance um, ethical concerns with the need for innovation and technological progress. In this context, also um, international cooperation, uh, legal regulations and also um, cyber defense strategies should be developed uh, as soon as possible. Uh, given the um, current uh, scale of commercial development of artificial intelligence systems, uh, potential co uh, covered intentions by companies will cause nation states to remain uh, relatively ethical. Uh, for this reason, while states should not uh, should sorry should support the private sector in uh, shaping the future of artificial intelligence, they should continue to uh, control military operations. Um, and also, uh, maintaining the autonomy of private companies is necessary and important for the future of artificial intelligent technology. In uh, summary, to sum up, um, it's important for states to become aware of their moral responsibilities, balance um, private enterprise with uh, ethical values and adopt to implement um, people-centered approaches in international relations area. On this path of the technology, um, humanity has a huge responsibility. Uh, if it uh, underestimates this uh, enormous responsibility and uh, overlooks the moral significance uh, of its actions, humanity will risk uh, losing its ability to uh, dream and above all its all dignity. Uh, for the lessons of the world history, I mean, uh, teach us uh, unethical military capabilities cannot be taken uh, lightly, unfortunately. Yeah, thank you so much uh, for your uh, listening. Yes, thank you so much for your interesting talking. It's an uh, extraordinary talking. Thank you. Is there anyone who wants to ask our presenter 